All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So we have some breaking Jets news. It just came out like two minutes ago here. The team brought in safety Sherrod Neesman from the Atlanta Falcons. Now, I think first and foremost, we should really take a look at the safety position as we stand today. This is a good room. This is a good unit for sure. Is it elite? No. Is it a top three safety room in the National Football League? No. But it's not horrible. It's not some sort of liability. I don't think the safety room is the is the Achilles heel, is the weak link for the team uh, every single Sunday, right? And I, I honestly feel like the safety room is only going to get better from last season. So Marcus May, absolute beast, fan favorite. Can't wait for him to sign that extension. Really, really love May. Always have. He's, I mean, this guy's a Jet. This guy, this guy should be a lifelong Jet. I really, really like Marcus May. LaMarcus Joyner, big fan of that signing. Even though it was a one-year contract and he didn't really produce with the Raiders, they kind of forced him to play more uh, nickel corner than safety. And he's more of a natural fit at that safety position. But going back to the Rams, going back to the uh, Florida State Seminoles, LaMarcus Joyner has always made plays. He's always impacted the team in a positive way. It wasn't until the Raiders situation where it kind of, you know, went south. But we also have Ashton Davis, former third round pick out of Cal. Obviously, the front office and Joe Douglas have pretty high hopes for Davis to make him a third round pick. And he also flashed last season. So by adding... Neesman to this football team, I think we're only going to get better. It's a depth move. We look at what Neesman has done throughout the course of his career. He spent his entire career with the Falcons, working with Dan Quinn, a guy who runs a very similar system to Robert Sala, right? With the cover three, the cover four, all that good stuff, a good zone corner. And he's also seen a lot of football. He's never really been the guy that, you know, the premier safety for the Falcons, but he's played in a lot of football games. He played in all 16 games last season, uh, played in 15 and 2019. So I think he's adding depth to this football team adding depth to the safety room okay and by the way Jeff Ulbrich he's where did he come from he came from Atlanta so there's that familiar face there overall I like the signing I don't think it's going to make or break you know the defensive success this season but it can't help I mean it can't hurt to add depth to a team that's not uh to or to, really to a unit that's not yet complete so anyway really like the signing let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section um also there's some really, really good free agents still out on the open market, right? Some linebackers, some corners. Uh, what are we going to do with backup quarterback? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Cannot wait to hear them. And as always, thanks so much for watching and go Jets.